so guys for making this edit intro first you have to import a background now it depends on you which type of background you have and also add the audio and the beats on it now in this audio you can see there are different type of beats some are a little bit far and some are very much close now these are based on the audio that you have okay uh, according to audio you have to give the moments and uh, for giving the moments you have to give accurate beats then we'll move towards the background and adjust the background like this just right onto the beat then we will duplicate it and paste it right over here just because we are using the same type of background again and again then again we have duplicated it and over here we have a shorter but a faster moment so we will just increase the speed of it to 2x and then we'll adjust the duration of it now repeat the same process like duplicate the background and paste it in the behind now it depends on you like uh, what type of background you're using i'm here using uh, just a simple like uh, background you can get this from my discord if you want it and after adjusting the background uh, the main thing comes that you have to import like the images or png images uh, which you need to give a moment so first we will add a character which is the psi character and we'll adjust adjust the duration of it properly then we will go and adjust the scale of it you can use your thumb or you can use the transform tool to get a proper zoom and make sure that every character has the same zoom over here we are using just a 50 zoom then you have to adjust your character properly and then we will add the overlays like this uh, arrow type thing you can also get this from my discord link is in the description join my discord after adding it we have to adjust it like this and now it depends again on you if you want to use the thumb you can use your thumb you can use also the transform tool by setting the x and y of it then make a duplicate copy of it drag it just right under it and after dragging it under it you have to click on it you have to go into the transform and you have to give it a mirror so we can get so we can get the opposite side of that uh, arrow then you have to change the x-axis of it like this after adjusting the x-axis you will see less like the right left clicks or right left arrow and in the center we have our character then we'll give the moments to our character so for this first make sure that your zoom and all the positions are accurate then you will go just right at the ending but before ending like not at the ending just right a little bit far from the ending over here and add a keyframe over there then go to the starting and you have to drag your character to the right side to get the right to center movement then what you have to do you have to uh, make sure it's adjusted properly and also add a keyframe at the ending and at the ending you have to move your character to the opposite side okay you can see we are moving it to the opposite side so we can get this moment the character will come here it will stop and it will go over there so for making the character coming in the center and going out there you have to give it some custom graphs now it depends on you if you want to use uh, some other graph but i would recommend you should use the custom graph like i am doing over here so we'll go and add the linear graph and we'll add two beats in it first one will be just right over here and we will adjust that oh like this and the second one will be over there to give it a good and smoother movement just copy paste or like make a duplicate type of graph that i'm using and for the second one you will use the opposite type of graph like this so by adding these graphs our character will move in faster then it will slow down and it will slowly go backside but at the ending it will go faster okay then uh add the other overlays and just uh, remove the things that you have and again copy paste the same thing uh, give the zoom in and zoom out similarly as you have given to your characters before now while this thing is being made uh, i will explain something that uh, as we are about to reach 100k thank you so much uh, and i was always thinking that uh, i should make a special video or a q a video or any other type of video that you want to suggest me to make when i reach my 100k so comment down and tell me that uh, what should i do when i reach my 100k and one more thing the face reveal is not allowed until now it will be uh, done maybe now it depends on my mood that uh, when i will reveal my face so regarding that don't ask any question but if you want to ask any other questions you can ask in the comment 
I will check it out and I will also do a community post where you can like specially text a message like what thing you want to know about me or anything uh, regarding my content and if you want guys and if you guys want me to change my content I will also do that after that uh, you have seen that I have adjusted every clip and I am over here adjusting the layers of the arrows so it should be in the front not in in the behind after like adding these properly what I have to do is this that uh, I have to duplicate it again and again but before that check out your character that uh, is the moment correct and is anything remaining if you have to recorrect it but if everything is okay just duplicate it and paste those character right under it to give it the aura now it depends on you which type of aura you want to give to your characters over here I think I should give like some basic glow thing and if you want to like add different type of aura uh, you can also add the different type of aura it depends on you so I will just give a glow too to give a good glow effect behind our character so we will add the glow to effect over here like this I have searched it and I have added the glow too then we will adjust our effect and also adjust the object of it and also adjust the like uh, intensity of it after adjusting the object you can see that the glow is coming behind of our character and then we will adjust the glow to like 80 and the size will be like 12 or 15 14 depends on how much glow you want in your character and still if you want to change the color you can uh, go into the overlays click on the overlay that we have added the glow to go into the adjustment of that then go into the graph of that and if you want just only white just set the white graph like this so after setting the white graph like this you will see that the white type of glow is coming out of coming behind of our character and uh, if you are satisfied by just only the white one you can just uh, adjust uh, everything properly and you can add the same glow to the other characters that are right over here but if you think that uh, this only white glow doesn't give a good uh, like look to, a, to your edit, you can change the color by using different type of graph. So for that, you have to go into the overlays, go into the adjustment, and you just have to play with the graphs to get the desired color that you want. Over here, I just need some pink. So we will just uh, set the green graph like this. After that, you will see that we are getting the pink type of uh, glow behind of our character. Now it also depends on you like which type of uh, graph you want or which type of color you want behind your character. Now just you have to work on it and you have to like play with the graphs to get your desired color. And that was all and you can also give the glow to, to the arrow that we have over here. As you can see I am giving the glow to the uh, arrows and you have to do the similar thing to all of the other clips. I'm not explaining it again and again because the video is being a little bit too long and I hope you guys have learned something new and you will try to make these type of edit intro for your edits. Till then, we'll meet in the next video and peace out.